Uh oh, it says it's recording. I can't hear it. Alex. Yeah. Let's have our own show. <laughs> I see Alex talking, but I hear nothing. Yeah. He might be pantomiming. This might be a rib. <laughs> Let's all do it back. What? <laughs> Attaboy, Charlie. <laughs> Whenever Johnny Carson uh, would have technical difficulties, Peter LaSalle would always just say to him, huh, I guess somebody just kicked the plug out. I think that's just what happened with Alex. Hi, Marjorie. Hi, Marjorie. I can't hear Alex. <laughs> <laughs> problem is, can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 See, I've, I've been installing a lot of equipment in here over the week, and I, I don't even know that that button that says main should be up. Okay. So what the hell it is. Uh, you can hear me now. Mm, wonderful. And Charlene thought, what the hell's going on here? I, die and I can't do it. You, know. you sound like me last week. Huh? You yeah. were like how I was last week. Yeah. Hello, Shecky. Hello, Ben. There, there is Shecky. Uh, and uh, he is so uh, uh, there in his. Somebody said to me, is Shecky sick? Yes. And I said, well, what makes you think Shecky is sick? He says, he's always lying in bed. So <laughs> <laughs> <How> am I. <laughs> well, excuse me, but, you know, he is an amputee. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, so how y'all doing? Good, awesome. I'm doing good. fine, except I got a I got a problem. So let me vent. Okay, can I vent? Sure. It's my show. I guess I get to vent. Here it goes. Anyway, no, 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 no. It has something to do with you, Marjorie. Oh. By the way, Marjorie's back has been just trashed. Oh. But we'll explain why in a couple of minutes. Uh, since we talked last, I spent a full 14 hours in emergency room at Mount Sinai. Uh, and I should okay? spend that time sitting in the chair. Yeah. The story will come later. So, and and so took him home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're my friend. I can say that, Shecky. I came to the hospital and I took him home. Absolutely. Well, you got to ride to the hospital in an ambulance. <laughs> I did at four in the morning. Yeah. All right. What, what did you do to yourself? Now? Yeah. Are you okay? I don't know what I did to myself, but all I know <laughs> is that we went out and we had dinner and Marjorie said, oh, please come to dinner with me. I have to see this friend of mine. Please come, please. Come. So I went, okay, I went. And so I go to this restaurant, which has very little on the menu. I don't know. I, we second go to a lot. We go to all the time. Yeah, well, we don't go all the time. I do. I do. And we've never gone for dinner. And it's the second place That's we've gone good for good dinner good. that you like that has absolutely nothing on the menu for dinner. I agree. So I had one of my favorites, tuna tartare. Oh. Well, at uh, four o'clock in the morning, I wake up absolutely nauseous like i feel i have to throw up but i don't want to throw up in bed that wouldn't be polite you know? <laughs> and and so i um i'm lying there and every time i raise my head i feel nauseous so i lay my head back so i don't throw up and i do this a couple of times and finally i decide i got to get to the bathroom and do this and i run to the bathroom uh i walk to the bathroom stumble to the bathroom and go over to the sink and hit my head on the sink oh shit and fall to the floor and oh. now i yell for marjorie and uh, i'm lying there for a couple of minutes and i'm saying what am i going to do and i finally yell for marjorie and she says what and i said come in i need your help and i'm lying there she could she could describe what it looked like but it didn't look good i'm sure well i couldn't lift them up number one yeah and there was a little bit of blood on the floor and so on and so forth so now we're trying to get me up, but every time I try to get up, I'm really lightheaded and I feel like I'm nauseous and I got to throw up. So I called 911. So she called 911. 
So I'm lying there while she's doing all of this. And I can hear uh, off in the distance sirens coming hmm. to the house. And uh, next thing you know, the, you know, the paramedics are there. And uh, but they're all still like rosy cheeks, young boys. They yeah. Look so cute. They have <laughs> like little elves. Policemen. I would and think that you were a little more concerned with my health and, you know, how horny you were getting yes, seeing well, these young know, boys. Was the pink cheeks. <laughs> and, and how young they were. And how young they <laughs> were. Okay. Yeah. Compared to me, anybody's young. And me. Huh? And me too. And you too. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So I, so we go to the, uh, we, so they take me to the emergency room and uh, the odyssey begins. I can't tell you, I think I counted on my thing at. Hey, good um, news. Sorry. Tony Magno's calling again. <laughs> Don't really? put him on the show. Do not Is put it? him on the show. <laughs> not even tell him. Oh, come on. He's a nice guy. Anyway. I'm leaving if he comes on. No, he's not coming on. Oh, good. He's calling Shecky. Yeah, he's calling Shecky to see how Shecky's doing. Because Shecky's not been well either. This week. You can tell how we play it. Popeye's 50th anniversary. I think it's this week. You can three pieces of chicken for 59 cents. Anybody going in and having. What was that? <laughs> He's having to talk to Tony. <laughs> anyway, to get on with it, um, I have a list here from Mount Sinai of maybe 25 tests they did on me that day. Oh. I mean, I got to tell you, I don't think there's anything wrong with me because they tested everything. They gave me a CT scan for my head. Then when they did my head, they found some enlarged lymph nodes. So they did the rest of my of body. Where they found a couple of, of large enlarged lymph nodes. Of and, course. Yeah, no, no, nothing I think to worry about. Uh, they, um, they checked we everything. But what? We all know that. What do you mean we don't know that? We all know that. Well, we, all, know. we all know what? Oh. But you're fine. Wait a minute. I, I wasn't fine, obviously, because I got to the hospital and I couldn't even get out of the the uh, the uh, the. Uh, well, they had food poisoning, and it goes to your body, and then it's over. Well, yeah, but they didn't even say it was food poisoning. That's the problem. But here, here's, my, here's the sum total of what's getting me today. See, Marjorie always says to me, "You have to be proactive where where uh, med medicine is concerned." You have to keep bugging the doctors till they do something. Well, they say, you know what the issue is. Well, wait a minute. Let me finish. So the other day she says to me, well, did you, did you call them? You know, I said, she suggested the doctor, or she wasn't a doctor. She was a faux doctor. What do they call them? Physician assistant. Physician assistant. Physician assistant. Yeah. She said, uh, uh, well, I would see a doctor about this, uh, uh, a hematologist, oncologist that, it's not that it's cancer, but they, you know, they come mix them together. So uh, I said, okay, where do I, where do, where, where do I call? And she said, you know, the place here at Mount Sinai. So now I go home and Marjorie says, have you called the doctor yet? Have you called the doctors yet? I, so I called the doctors and they put me over to somebody else. And they said, it's going to take a couple of days for us to look at your, at your stuff to see if they want to see you. I'm going, if they want to see me, they're a fucking if doctor. They want I, to see you. Yeah, no, really. I'm serious, what Marjorie. What does that mean? Well, that's, well, so I, I, so I didn't get heat from you. I just called, oh, I just, you know, let me finish. I just called the doctor. Uh -oh. I just called Mount Sinai. And the well, woman who answered the phone said, you have to go to your referring, your, 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 uh, what do you call it? Your, your, what do you call it? Doctor. No, my what do you call it? My general yeah. practitioner. Primary, primary. And have him uh, uh, order up a biopsy. Dr. Kenneth. Order up a biopsy. Of what? I said, on what? She <laughs> said, well, uh, the doctor from the emergency room will call you and tell you what to tell your doctor. Oh. And I've yet to hear from her. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, what do I have to do to get a doctor? Don't you just wave your hand and say, I want a doctor. They go, oh, that's nice. You want a doctor? Hey, I want to make some money. I'm here. 
like when we ordered the ambulances, three of them showed up to the front door, you know, but I can't get one doctor to see me. Four of them showed up, Alex. Huh? And they all had these pink sheets. Oh, geez. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> They're adorable. Yeah. Not like, 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 police. not unlike, <laughs> unlike the guy lying on the bathroom floor. Vomiting in the bathtub. Okay. I, Unlike I them, they were the cute, emergency. not vomiting. I got you into the emergency room. Oh, well, I'm surprised that you did because the way medical medicine is showing me today, you have to make an appointment. You have to be okayed by the doctor. Can't somebody mm -hmm. look at me and say, okay, well, let's check your lymph nodes out? And oh, well, they're okay. Or, you know, why do I have to go get a biopsy? They said they did, they looked at my blood work and there wasn't anything wrong with me. So they can't take me. They sent you home? Have you heard of anything like that? What, Jackie, have I, is the world changed? Mm. Of course it has. Oh. Jeez almighty. <clears throat> Just really pissed me off. Just, yeah. But anyway, so that was my that was my thing. But I was uh, I, you know, it was quite a day for me. And then she tweaked her back as a result. And uh, this is all uh, you go to the hospital. It's really there for good health. Right. Do you think the tuna was bad? I mean, do you think that's what started it? Well, I think so. But apparently the doctor not being uh, a, a, a clinician when it comes to cuisine. Um, <laughs> Didn't, didn't even put that in the possibility. They said maybe it had something to do with your spine or your... Did I tell you what the manager said? When I when we come, not to mention his name and we'll probably get a free dinner. Well, yeah, like I'm going to order the tuna tartare again, sure. No, <laughs> you can order something else. Yeah, but all I know is I had a, I had a, I had a uh, gastro, gastroenterologist, guy I love, t terrific guy. And he said to me that uh, uh, if you ever think you have food poisoning, just count back about eight hours or so, eight to 10 hours, and look at what you ate, and that's what caused the problem. Uh, so I did, and it was the, I hadn't had anything to eat earlier than that. It was the tuna tartare. Yeah. So don't, don't get the get tuna tartare. What? We'll get a free meal out of it. Oh, geez. Nice. You know, well, I to the tartar. You know, uh, it, it. I always hated places where they said, "Oh, you felt the food really sucked." Well, come back and have a free meal on us. <laughs> and I'm going, yeah. well, that's not exactly the treat I was expecting. I think something like "Don't pay the bill" would probably be in order. But no, come back and have a meal on us. What at this lousy restaurant? I just learned to hate. Just you know. order the tartar. Yeah, but anyway, so, but 14 hours and I, it wasn't like it was 14 hours of doing nothing. I mean, they did two CT scans on me. They did an oh. echocardiogram on me. They did blood work. They, they did uh, half a dozen other tests. I mean, just amazing. There's, there's no inch of my body oh. they didn't check. I think they missed going up my ass, but that was about it. You know? And how about me? What? Oh, well, you, your back is, you've been a well, cripple. I had to sit in all these sittings. Yeah. Well, you had to sit. And then when you, when you come into the emergency room to sit with me, there's no place to sit. Although I noticed they were giving certain people chairs. Yeah, so, but then they ran out of chairs by the time I got there, Alex. Oh, Oh, I see. Is that it? Yeah. This is a big major hospital, Mount Sinai. They can't afford a few more chairs. <laughs> I sat on the edge of his bed. Oh, yeah. So but now, now here's a game we're all going to play. All right. I, I spent 14 hours in the emergency room plus uh, ambulance there, and uh, they should take you back in an ambulance just because you know. But it, it, an ambulance to get me there. How much do you think this is going to come to? I mean, I have no idea, but going to come to a lot in the in the 20 to 30, 20 20 thousand with CT scans and shit. Yeah. Yeah. With all the tests. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 20,000. <clears throat> it's funny because the assistants we near the doctor, when they ordered like a medicine to, to give him in his arm, 
mm -hmm. uh, shot. Yeah. They, they have the scan. I watch them. They scan it with their with their yeah. iPhone. So they every pill anything, that you take or any test that he has to do out. It's they gave scary. me one pill to take, a one little tiny pill, and on the back it had a barcode, and they, you know. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <clears throat> Luckily, we have the the insurance, the Medicare insurance, uh, the part F, part F. Part F or whatever that covers everything. F. You know, F. we don't have to pay a penny. Yes, Vernon. Our doctor, our primary care physician, informed us last week that they no longer have prescription pads in their office. Yeah. Oh, everything really? is done electronic. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Um, wow. Well, I, I guess that's reasonable, isn't it? I mean, I, mean, I haven't gotten a paper prescription from a doctor in ten years. Yeah, mm. yeah. There's no no reason to write them. It's all yeah. done remotely. Yeah, they call it into the pharmacy. Yeah, no. yeah. The only reason I was asking him about that is because there was some confusion as to whether or not he had transmitted a prescription that my wife needed, and he's only there four days a week. So if, if he hadn't transmitted it and it's Friday, she's SOL. Oh, boy. Wow. Yeah, no, but it, it, it's just I, you know, uh, here I, oh, gee, maybe I have lymph node cancer or something. I will never know because I can't get a doctor to look at it. You know, so I mean, it's 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 ridiculous. I it used to be couldn't you, you looked up like, hey, hematologist. I looked that up in the phone book. I looked up hematologist on the Mount Sinai thing, and they don't even say answer to hematologist. They finally give you a drop down list that says hematology oncology. Yeah. Phone book, what's that? Huh? That phone book, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> phone booth, what's that? They just took the last one out of New York City. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Well, and then my, I'll tell you what also happened. Hi, uh, <coughs> hi, hi, Paula. Oh, she, I don't know if she can hear me yet. Mm -hmm. Hi, Paula. Hey, Paula. All 11 is calling us. Anyway. So connected. Um, uh, 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 yes, Jeff. I think you should tell your doctor to go over to see your chef and take his blood test. <laughs> <laughs> see what the real cause was. Listen, I don't even know this doctor that, you know, this is not my doctor. This is not the doctor I would call if I had a problem. You know, I have a urologist, I have a neurologist, I have various doctors. Because as you get older, kids, if you're listening, you drag along in life not only all this crap that you've saved you know, and, and every time you move, there's more stuff to move. But also by the time you get to be our age, you are the giant snowball rolling downhill. You've collected these doctors, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you do collect them. And I'm, I got so many ologists. They collect us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I just, you know, but it's, uh, so I, you know, I just, uh, I, I, I'd, I'd like to have, uh, why do I need a biopsy? You know? I, I, do you suspect cancer? Well, you didn't see anything wrong in my blood. You know, you're, you're, at that age. Huh? you're at that age. Maybe I need another kind of doctor. I don't know. Yes. That's, but anyway, so uh, yes. Uh, Jeff Jeff. Waving his hand. That's what we're doing. We're, we're changing doctors. Oh, uh, it, really? You are? Yeah. 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 Well, how about Shecky? Shecky, you got a lot of doctors, don't you? No. No. Wow. Well, you got, don't you have a neurologist? I believe you have that. The neurologist, because we talked about this the other day, he was the head of New York Hospital, but he's retired. Oh, okay. Yeah, All a right. lot of mine retired. A lot of doctors are retiring now. Mine too. I mean, I don't know why. If I were 65 and I were a doctor, I probably would res just stop, you know. Because yeah, but if more. you're 75 and a doctor, what would you do? Well, you see, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the problem that most doctors have today is they've really got to work at, uh, they got to work at a hospital. They can't have a practice because it's too expensive to have a practice. 
Yeah, this fellow was the head of neurology. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, what did what did he say? He was quitting because the business was making him nervous. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got a GP and a um, cardiologist. Okay, well, that's enough. You know, those are two good, serious ones. Do you, do you have a urologist yet? No. Okay, how many times a night are you getting up to pee? Lately, a lot. Okay, time for the urologist. Oh. Add another one oh. as you're rolling downhill with that big <laughs> medical snowball, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, because after a while, you're going to go, I'm sick and tired of not being able to sleep a whole night, you know. Well, no, I'm sleeping all night, but as soon as I, it's morning, it's like, oh, I've got to go pee. Okay. Well, we, uh, but it's because also night? last week, I've been drinking a lot of liquids, you know, orange juice, lemonade, water, Diet Coke. So I've had a lot of liquids in my system. Yeah, but you said you aren't drinking the booze. No, that's no. Good. Don't tell anybody. You don't. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Paula. How's everything in Ohio? Uh, it's getting hot. We're supposed to have a, a heat wave in the next couple of days. I don't know if that's true for you guys. Well, I'm hoping for a heat wave because I bought a goddamn air conditioner. <laughs> you know, I mean, a new one. Which we know, haven't used yet, which I'm glad. We haven't. We didn't buy the best one, though. There's one we should have bought instead. The, you know, when windows come down and you got to, like, then take that accordion. Plate oh, it's the one that picked it out. You should have said something. Well, I didn't know till after we bought ours. We just bought what we had before, which is. You picked it out. But you anyway. They they built it so there's now a slit in the in the air conditioner so it comes down within about oh an inch or two of the sill and then it's just a little thing you put in there. Isn't that a good idea? What? Yeah. Where's the rest of the unit? Yeah. The the front part of the unit is in the front and then you go to the back and the back part of the unit hangs out the window and the the oh, the window. Like a U-shape almost sort of a thing? It, it's, it's it, well, let's say you got your air conditioner and you cut a hole in the middle of it, a little okay. slit in the middle of it. That's where it goes, where huh. your window goes. Huh. Yeah, I think it's a brilliant idea, actually, and why nobody did it 30 years ago, I have no idea, you know. Huh. But, uh, oh, by the way, mm -hmm. you know, they're still using COVID as an excuse for everything. Because the hospital, there's a there's a uh, uh, there's a note a notification when you call. Among all the other things they say, like you know, telling you in Spanish that if you if you're Spanish, push to. Uh, but uh, they uh, they're going, and your long, waiting times may be longer than usual due to the COVID outbreak again here in New York. That's an excuse for everything. It's an excuse for inefficiency. Oh, I'm sorry, it's COVID. Yes. Vernon. Last month, my wife was uh, going on a trip with some friends to uh, see some New York plays, and yeah. she couldn't go. She had to cancel at the last minute because she was having some problems with her cervical neck or her, her cervical nerves. Yeah. So she had to cancel. Seven out of the 15 people came back from that trip with COVID. Wow. Wow. What, yeah. from being in the theater? From going on that trip, yeah. Well, probably from going on the trip in the bus in the theater, they force you to wear a mask still. Yeah, but that doesn't a hundred percent prevent COVID. No, I understand that, but it, I thought it was kind of interesting. I said, "Well, gee, honey, you could have gone, and then you could have brought it back to me." <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I've been waiting to come down with it because being in that emergency room for fourteen hours, come on, you know. Let me tell you what it's to my back. Well, she's she's from the Himalayas, and she wants to talk about her baking yak. <laughs> My baking yak is. Look, you know something? We have had, and I'm not being loving about this, but we have had 
you're back as a constant companion with us. Since, since you're um, everywhere. Poisoning. Since you're food poisoning. No, no, but no, but <laughs> no, no, but what? What? I've got a videotape in Europe, in uh, that was uh, 13 years ago with you on crutches. All right, that was before the spine, the spine surgery. Yeah, but then you had that, and then you got a little better, but then you started getting a little worse again. What I'm saying is the constant companion in our marriage has been your back. True. Yeah. So anyway, I agree. anybody else here have medical problems? <laughs> no, thank you. Are you kidding? Raise well, your hand if you don't. How's that? Well, listen, Char Charlie, who has the mob name Charlie Four Toes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a I've got an allergy on my lower lip that uh, I went to see a dermatologist for. Yeah, I, I I'm assuming that that you guys all know that that the, the um that when we get together, you know, friends of our age, uh, we do what we call an organ recital before we get to the family <laughs> news. Very good. I didn't I didn't think that was an original joke, but I don't I don't know. Well, it's certainly a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's apt. <laughs> well, I was talking to Shecky the other day. I mean, Shecky's had some problems in the last couple of days. We won't go into them uh, because we don't know what they are, actually. <laughs> it's a strange story. But anyway, uh, what did I do? So I. Um, what did you do, Alex? And what was I, where was I going with this? We have two Charlie today. You and Shecky were talking. Discussion of medical issues. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Shecky and I are talking, and he's telling me about his problem. I'm telling him about my emergency room, my problems, mm. you know, pain here, thing there. You know, I think I hit, I did hit my head on the on the sink, and I, it's still hurting over here. But anyway, mm. and we're going back and forth on this. And I said, do you remember when we were just years ago, just like we were talking about how many times we got laid last week, you know, or we talked about the, uh, uh, is you buy any, uh, you do any of this or that or whatever. I mean, it was never anything about medical, <laughs> you know, there was never even a discussion of, and so, now we're, old, hmm? so now we're talking about nostalgia. That's what's going to continue us for the rest of these broadcastings. Absolutely. Why? What? What? What's ailments. Going to ailments? Oh no, we can talk about other things beside ailments. But we but, never do. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about the hearings, the January sixth hearings. Yeah, but uh, and then we get uh, then we get political. Oh, yeah. Or the, or the yeah. stock market. That, that you know that that's. Oh, that I, the stock market. You know, I'm I'm going down with a piece of board that says we'll work for food. You know, I mean, it's it's getting terrible. Getting that bad. Jackie is invested in the stock market. I hate to think how much he lost in the last couple of weeks. You know, I lost what I made over the couple of, last couple of years. Oh, so, <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> so you're you're at a plateau. Hang in there; it'll come back, Jackie. Well, you know, they say well, that's they say, my logic. I don't do anything. You know, yeah, I say to my broker and say, let's just stay the course. They would no. say it'll it'll come back. And that's what they were saying two months ago when it was going down precipitously, is it will come back. I mean, it, it's going to take a lot of work for it to come back. So no, I was in a store today, yeah. cherries, ten ninety nine a pound. No, no. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Ten ninety nine a pound? Wow. I saw twelve ninety nine in Ohio, a pound, four chairs. Twelve ninety nine. I did. Two avocados for five dollars, mm. <laughs> and that was last week. You know, Alex. Yes. It's the it's the first Charlene from New Jersey. Yeah. I have to like differentiate because we have two, right? Yeah. That's so funny. But um, I'm going through a thing now where like. They wanted me to take an MRI of my neck and my knees I've done before and my knees are shot and I'm waiting for the shots. And I can't walk. I'm limping. And then I go for the MRI and they tell me to get in this thing that I've never been in before. It's that closed one that nobody likes. Yeah. So I tried to do it and it went in like four inches and I was squeezing the ball with the panic button. And I'm like, 
get me out of here. I'm going to pee myself. I said, get me out of here. <laughs> and they mm -hmm. let me out and they told me that I can do That's another my, one. That is my greatest fear in life is having to have an MRI. Yeah, it was like you know, a coffin, like it was all tight. Yeah, no, I, because I have I have just chronic claustrophobia. I couldn't do it. No, you, I would, you, I'm would. i going to tell them, you find some other way to do it. They do have open MRIs, mm -hmm. but, you know, you, you, I know they have a couple of places here in New York that have them, uh, and that I could probably do, you know. The problem with running tests is then they find something else wrong with you. <laughs> yes, right. I, I felt that that was what I, my greatest fear being in the, in the hospital the other day with them doing all these tests is they would find something. Right. Now I kind like of feel the lead because they didn't find very much, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I found out that my hernia is fine, you know, uh, that this is fine, uh, that my pancreas is in great shape. I want you to know I got... A wonderful pancreas. Mm, Want to have a good one of those? Yeah. Well, anyway, I mean, I had I had every inch of my body looked over. I mean, there, there isn't a you know. If I I want I once thought, wouldn't it be good to have a have a thing where you go into a hospital and they give you every test imaginable, mm. every inch of your body to make sure you're okay. Right. Wow. And that's essentially what went on the other day. I mean, the only thing they didn't do was, as I said, they didn't. Uh, Go down and stick their finger where the sun don't shine but outside of that <laughs> yes. you know uh it was it was fine you yeah. have a good hospital though mount sinai right or something oh i'm beginning to think it's horrible just like any of the others <laughs> no but new jersey here they wouldn't do all that at rutgers you know uh, robert wood johnson well they do it they, they would do it they do it they because they're running up the bill you know mm -hmm. they're they're taking that iphone and Every they're they're they whether it was to give him an intravenous, whether it was to do this or to do that, they scanned it in. I mm. mean, they, they had scanners for each item, whatever it was, they scanned it in. Yeah, like and I, I, had, I had the drip, the drip going all the time, you know, the saline solution. It's like uh, a supermarket there. Yeah, they just scanned yeah. it. I looked it at all these people and when it's like a, it's like a human, it's a human uh, factory here. You yeah. Know? Plus, I mean, it's an emergency, it's emergency room at Mount Sinai, and everybody was there. I wonder what happens if somebody comes with COVID. I bet they put them somewhere else than that emergency room. Because I, I can't see them infecting the emergency room. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I, I seem to be okay. So. Anyway, so how's everybody else? Well, anybody else got anything to report? Charlene, how, uh, Charlene S., the other Charlene, how, how are yeah. you doing? Doing good. Doing good? Uh, yeah, doing good. Yeah, you're out in California, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Castro Valley in the Bay Area. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Oh, oh, oh Mike Chisholm, what, what's up with you? Hey, everybody. <clears throat> um, my wife, I don't know. Forgive me if you guys talked about this last week. I was in Toronto last week, so I missed the show. But uh, we're, my wife and I were catching up since I got home. We had the best date night ever. Has anybody here seen the new Top Gun? Have we talked about Top Gun on this show yet? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I've my God. Song. It was incredible. I loved I it so much. Great, great movie. Oh, my God. The nostalgia. Down, download it. Oh, it download it. It, if there's a movie to see in the movie theater, holy crap, that's the movie. It brought me back to 1987. Remember when we used to go to stereo stores and they would have the big screen TV set up with all the sound mm -hmm. systems of the day and they'd yeah. be playing Top Gun? It made yep. me want to go to one of those stores. That's how good that movie was. It was so good. Well, no. there's, only one, there's only one problem with it. What's that? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> I don't think he's a problem in this one, man. He It... it it was so good, and all you saw was the Maverick from 1985 or 1986 again. Oh, I was... never liked that first movie. Really? So why am I going to like this one? You didn't like Top Gun? Well, then you'll hate this movie because it is very... Well, that's why I have no intention of seeing it. I'll download it anyway. I'll watch it. At least in this Why? Because it has cute yeah, guys in it? <laughs> no, but because I, I watched the first one. What did what, like... what, 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 you say, Vernon? At least in this one, there was some chemistry between Tom Cruise and the lead female. In the yeah. first Top Gun, it sucked. Yeah. Well, he was gayer back then. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, I think he still looks pretty good for 60 years old. Well, if you were Tom Cruise, oh, 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 with all that money. Yeah. Charlene, please don't jump in like that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Other people are talking, please. <laughs> sorry. Otherwise, we'll have to boot you because I uh, we, we only want people who are copacetic with everybody else, okay? Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure they did a little bit of fuckery with his face in the movie. I don't know for, for, for you guys uh, down south up here in Canada. They started the movie with Tom Cruise doing a, 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 a to camera message thanking everybody who worked on the movie and how how proud they were of it. And the guy who did that message looked quite a bit different than the guy in the movie. I think in the movie they did some touch ups and things like that. What guy? I mean, look different than Tom Cruise. The Tom Cruise who did the message to camera thanking everybody for coming out to the theater and how proud they were of Top Gun. Uh, he, that that message they had. I don't know if he had that message down south where you guys see it, but he did up up where we are. Yeah. And and then you watch the movie, and Maverick in the movie uh, looked noticeably younger than the Tom Cruise who did that message to camera. So I'll check it out. Anybody watch the Tonys last night? No. No. no, but I read I read about them. Yeah, yeah. And the show we saw, the show we saw, one for best four, revival. Four, four, I think. Really? Got, got director, got revival, got uh, actor, uh, uh, a supporting uh, actor. Yeah, a supporting actor, and uh, Patty Lapone got Patty Lapone. Yeah. 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 You said that you could actually see company somewhere. Who said? You told Who's Marjorie said? that. Didn't you? Oh no, they, they, they had they had a special on it at PBS. Oh they, yeah, yeah. That, they that, they had special. a retro retrospective where they talked you go about on, If you go on to YouTube. No, 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 but there's some place where they 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 wired the whole production. On YouTube, they have a couple of performances, various performances of company, uh, one of which was with the New York uh, Philharmonic. And uh, they staged the whole thing, and it had Neil Patrick Harris as the lead, as Bobby. Uh, and um, they had um, Patty Lapone was in it, playing the same role. So she's done it once before. And she's uh, done it many times before. Really? Okay. And and also uh, um, uh, Stephen Colbert was in it. Right. Yeah, I saw that performance. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. You know, what else I saw on YouTube was there was a, a bit with um, Patti LuPone's um, uh, um, number, which was uh, 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 Ladies Who Lunch. Ladies Who Lunch. So they had a bunch of, of, uh, of uh, stars doing Ladies Who Lunch. And believe it or not, the best one, I thought, was Julie Andrews in, in this number where you talk really fast. It was the only right. time I could really understand every lyric she was wonderful <laughs> what, not again not getting married today yes oh right 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 not getting married today Mark yeah that's said. the thing with him right 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 yeah in fact that's what i think the guy won the award for last night was yes. that particular performance there's this one number in the show that's like almost sounds like danny k you remember danny k and he would go, mm -hmm. and it it, it, it it is really it's a wonderful piece to do, but I imagine fairly difficult to remember. The person who did it was being interviewed in that show on uh, company and said that Sondheim, though, made it very easy to do because he made it so your mouth didn't have to change positions that much. He, he, he made it comfortable to do. So anyway. Wow. But uh, now I watched the, the Tonys last night and I got so tired of them talking about inclusion rather than just doing it. They're always talking about it, you know, and uh, uh, yes, we understand, you know, um, I guess that's the reason why the guy who played Michael Jackson won for best actor in a musical. I don't you know understand I it. You know what I read about him? He had, he he. The only thing that he had done before was high school. And wow. he, he sent them a video uh, um, uh, uh, of, of um, him doing uh, um, Killer, uh, something from, from Killer. And, really? and they interviewed Killer. him. And uh, uh, he's a phenomenon. 
He's huh. an absolute phenomenon. I mean, you know, nobody is Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson, but he kind of came You know what I always hate about movies and so on? Uh, Mike's raising his hand. We'll get to you in a second. Uh, I'll it, it, tell us. Oh, I'll do that, Marjorie. Please. Boy, she's supposed to be nice to me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, uh, is that I hate it when people win awards, especially the Academy Awards, for doing impressions of people. Mm. There was a period of about four years, a few years ago, where every best actor and best actress for four or five years running was doing an impression of somebody. Everybody mm. gets amazed by what a great acting job because they were able to do an impression of somebody. I mean, Rich Little probably should win the largest Academy Award ever if that's what you vote for. Well, this, that's what that, that's what happened here. Yeah. Well, but the, this guy uh, for for the Michael Jackson thing, he had the moves. It, it, uh, if that was an impression, I'll take it because the moves were amazing. Yeah, but I still don't think that's the kind of performance I I like original performances. You know, mm. and uh, mm. uh, it, it it that's not an original performance. That's emulating someone who already you know exists. So. But uh, but well, here we are talking about theater to a bunch of people who don't get that close to it. Yes, Mike. I... Well, I had one point. Now I have two. Um, now I'm coming from a place of ignorance, which should surprise nobody. Um, but if there was a, a place in the entertainment world that was ahead of the curve when it came to inclusion, my ignorance tells me it would be the theater. Like, weren't, weren't wasn't isn't the theater already a place that had inclusion? And then I want to throw at you, Alex, uh, Ray, Jamie Foxx playing Ray. I thought that was a performance that was Oscar worthy. It bothered me for exactly the same reason. Cool. Uh, okay. You know, so, I, I, so. I, I, he was doing an impression. So we're yin and yang on that you one. Know, okay. I, I, I can think of better pictures that he's done where he's done a good job of acting. Sure. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, I, um, uh, yeah. So anyway. But wasn't the theater, uh, you know, the place where inclusion was already kind of happening or is. Well, it, no, it was not silently happening. happening Cause everybody, are you saying that everybody on Broadway is gay? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, okay. Uh, but uh, it's certain like we got pride week. I don't know if it's pride month down there, but up here it is right now. I would think that, yeah. Here that in New York city it's, where it's gay that. pride year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> But I thought that, yeah, I, I always thought that Broadway was very inclusive when it came to race or uh, sexual preference, et cetera, et cetera. I think, Shecky, you could probably, you're, you're a guy, you go to almost every Broadway show going. I mean. Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment, <laughs> but you did. It, it was a regular thing with you. Every Wednesday, I never called you because you were never home, you know. Uh, uh, but do you think it was that inclusive or do you think, that it uh, that it was still hard for say black people to get leads and to be taken seriously and so on. Well, I'm no offense to black men or women. I'm not paying 150 bucks to see some black themed show. Sorry. Well, there are you could have a good black themed show. I mean, Jeff Jefferson or Hamilton rather. <laughs> Wrong president, folks. <laughs> uh, color purple. Yeah, but Lin Manuel Miranda, I don't believe he's black. I believe he's Latin or yeah, yeah. But but I'm saying basically or, it was the, the the music was kind of rap music and so on and so forth, and uh, it was a uh, uh, a very good. I guess I I've heard it's a very good show. Oh, it's a very good show. What about Color Purple? Color Purple Absolutely was... Absolutely no interest. It, it was a Broadway... If it went to Broadway, it went to Broadway after it was a movie. After it was a movie. After it was a book. So by the time it got to Broadway, it was a bridge and tunnel show, as we <laughs> call it. Mm -hmm. You know, because it, it's a, it's a, the tourists go to see it. But know? it was also after the movie was released. Oh, long after. Yeah. Yeah. So why do I need to go see it? Right. Yeah, yeah. Let let the yutzes from New Jersey go see it. Sorry, Charlene. That's okay. There's yutzes. <laughs> I'm the biggest yutz. Well, that's what we mean by bridge and tunnel show. Is that these are shows that are created for the tourist crowd, mm -hmm. right? You know, the local tourists. 
Well, you know, the Four Seasons thing. What was it called? I can't remember. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember the show about the Four Seasons. Jersey Boys. Jersey Boys. Boys. Yeah. Uh, absolutely the ultimate bridge and tunnel show. <laughs> Don't make fun of it. It was one of the best shows. We had the best time. We were there. Right, Marjorie? We were totally there. <laughs> Would Chicago be in that category, Alex? What? Would Chicago be in that category? Chicago be in that category. Yes, because it's based Chicago. on 1927 film. Oh, okay. So that's a bridge and tunnel crowd as well. Mm. Well, when it first came out, it wasn't bridge and tunnel. Well, no, yeah. because it's like, oh, this week it's Marjorie starring in it as Roxy Hart. Well, well, this right. week it's this person. Yeah, but what that's I'm, one of those shows. Well, I'm saying when it first opened up, that wasn't the case. You know, it wasn't a bridge and tunnel show, but it became one. All right, I'm taking I'm taking exception to the to, to this idea of bridge and tunnel. I mean, does that make me a bridge and tunnel person? I mean, Ab no. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, no. I mean, it it it. it um, uh, well, all we're saying is that there are certain shows like they do the Tina Turner thing and the Carol King thing. Beautiful, those are all bridge and tunnel shows. Oh, I want to hear the music of, of Carol King. Oh, look, somebody's imitating Carol King singing these songs. Quite frankly, if, you know, Carol King would like to do a concert some way, I'll go see it, but I don't want to have to see somebody doing her. And Bobby Slayton took us to see Beautiful, the Carol King musical, and we get, went to see it because uh, uh, it was... Uh, 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 he was saying it's the best musical ever. You got to see this thing. And I went and saw it and I went, you know, I'm just doing her hits. That's it. You know, a little okay. drama put in between. You, you agree. Did you see it, Jeff? Yeah. On, but, on the internet. But anyway. Oh, on the internet. Yeah. But it was already done, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and I got to tell you, she's a great singer. And you know what? And I mean, you know, all the songs they're, they are somewhat great songs, but after you've, when you pass the sixth one, it's like, yeah, I don't want to hear it anymore. Well, the thing is, when we finally went to see it, they were on like their, <laughs> their fifth cast, who was doing their first, their, they were into their first year of the fifth cast or something. Yeah. Right. Like they're going on there and going, let's get this over this with so we can go out to dinner, you know? <laughs> Tunnel. That's definitely bridge and tunnel. I mean, well, Shecky always goes. You always say the best thing to go to, Shecky, is the show a week before it opens up or a few days before it opens up because then it's written in stone and the tickets are still cheap. Yeah. Yeah. What was the one, Alex, we went to see about a week or so before it opened, and it was so long, it was like three and a oh, half I hours. I can't remember, though. The thing went on forever. It was like a two or three yeah, and a half hour musical. We're yeah. going, they got to cut this thing down. You know. Yes, Charlene? I just wanted to say, I um, heard a, a thing on television, like, you know, someone did a thing. It's a proven fact that uh, the Bridging Tunnel New Jersey people go to those shows, and also the shows that are filmed in New York, you know, where they have a studio audience, they're regular, they regularly are doing that too, because they're so close to New York. They come yeah. in and that's mm. it. Yeah. What about Springsteen? Hey, what about Springsteen show? Because he's a Jersey boy. Is that a bridge and tunnel show? You know something, I, 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 I don't know if Shecky would agree with me on this. You didn't see the Springsteen thing, did you, Sheck? No. no. Oh, wait a minute, yes. You know, uh, it, it's not a Broadway show. It's a concert, mm. you know, it's a concert. But doesn't he tell stories throughout the whole thing? Like, doesn't he bring you on a journey throughout the well, whole? Well, just his journey, his journey of growing up in New Jersey and, you know. Yeah, and sometimes you get guys like Jackie Mason doing a one-man show or Whoopi Goldberg, a one-woman show. And as people, yeah. if people say, if it said to me, what is that? And I said, well, you know the difference between a comedy act and a, a, a one-person show. And I say, he said, no, I said, $40. Yeah. <laughs> you, know. you know, it's it's like the Billy Crystal show. It's oh. based on a lousy movie. It, he, he couldn't, the movie failed. It was a big failure. That's Mr. Saturday Night, right? Yeah. 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 
And, and, and then he says, as you get older in life, I think you just recycle all the stuff from the past because you have no new ideas. And I like Billy. There's nothing against him. But, you know, it's like, no, I don't need to see this. Right. 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 But uh, have you got any Broadway shows you're going to see soon? No. No. It, what, did COVID take that lust out of you for seeing Broadway? To an extent, I did see Music Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good show, huh? Yeah. I was never that fond of the Music Man. I told Marjorie this last night. I said I never liked it as a musical, particularly. No, I've always liked it, and I've seen other versions. But I, this current version, and I am to like both leads. Yeah. Yeah. Sutton Foster should go back and do another season of, uh, of uh, Younger. Uh, anyway. No, and I adore Sutton Foster, but, you know. Yeah. You see, it's interesting. We're talking about something that almost everybody here does not have the ability to go do, and that's see a Broadway show. That's mm -hmm. the plan. We're coming in uh, October, and that's one of the things we're going to do. Well, so check, check, I may be reaching out to you to help me try and get some tickets for something like that okay yeah, you know the thing is that it is um it it's it's uh it's a wonderful thing i think you know because what you're about to see when you sit down in a the theater to see a broadway show is you're going to see a one-time only performance by that i mean it'll never be the same way again you're but seeing live, something very unique live theater is great because it's exactly that yeah, it's every night is a little different, you know, and it's it's live. I mean, it's you're right there. It's wonderful. It's yeah. such a different experience than a, a movie or or whatever. So I love live theater. And you don't know the cheer that the the thrill that Paula had and most theater goes have when they get to the theater and find out the cast who's in the show is actually playing in that performance. Right. <laughs> yeah, but the understudies very often are really good. No, they may be, may be really good, but I think she would have felt cheated if Patty, Patty Lapone had taken the night off. Yeah, That's but right. I hear the woman who replaced her that when she had the COVID for a couple of days was very, very good. Well, they, they got Pam Anderson playing Roxy Hart in Chicago. How could you miss that? <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> they had Huey Lewis in Chicago in New York. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's compelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were the uh, news there as well? Hmm? Were the news <laughs> there as well? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, uh, that was a show that we didn't like. What was the one, the thing about the newspaper boys? Newsies. Newsies. Oh, God. <laughs> we walked out in the middle of it. Oh, no. It just, really? Yeah. It just lucky because somebody bought the tickets for us. And we just afterwards told them, oh, we, it was wonderful. Just, okay. Cause we, <laughs> we didn't want them to know. We just, we just, right, Marjorie? Mm -hmm. We both just said, life's too short, you know. <laughs> Let's get dinner. Uh, it, it just it just didn't make it. Did you see the show, Rick? Which one? Newsies. Oh yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Then another, there's another example. Disney takes something to Broadway. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Disney has uh, they haven't brought anything lately though, have they? Well, not since COVID, I guess, because you know it costs money to put these on. I mean, Lion King made them a fortune on Broadway. And yeah. in Vegas. Aladdin. Aladdin. Yeah. Very, very good. And, yeah, uh, very good. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, Disney has mounted a lot of these shows, and they can afford it, too. So yeah. they can do a good job of it. Um, but, um, you know, and this was, uh, I found out, this was the second Sondheim. Are you eating potato chips, dear? Huh? <laughs> Show them, pull out one of the potato chips and show them how it look. They look. Just, <laughs> yeah, bring, I, I know you are. Oh, you're all going. Look. I've seen potato chips. Those are thick uh, cut, aren't they? Oh, no. those look like good ones. No, they're not. They're just huge. They're from. Can I have one? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, 
Yeah. So right. big, she yeah. can't get it out of the bag. No, <laughs> I think she can't find a big one. Oh, there we go. Look at, look at, look at the size of that. It's mutant oh. potato chips. Oh, fucking potato. <laughs> Where are, the, where are those from? We have that for dinner. Those are from. Uh, 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 turn on Stu your mic, Marjorie. Stu Leonard's. Stu Leonard's. I know Stu. How many How many bags do you buy at one time from Stu Leonard's? Eight. Eight. Oh, <laughs> oh. Do they stay fresh? It looks like it's just a paper bag. L yeah, needless to say. So when you buy eight, it's like to give that you eat seven and give one away. No. <laughs> I'm giving it away. No. And we also buy some breakfast sausages for them at the same time. So there are like five breakfast sausages and eight potato chips. But uh, so Marjorie, Marjorie, does that count as your vegetable for today? <laughs> I haven't eaten anything today. Bring me in a potato chip, will you? Bring base base um breakfast sausage. Wait a minute, hold on a second, folks. Be right, be right back. Talk to you. <laughs> I have a confession to make. The only version of the Music Man I've ever seen is the Simpsons uh, monorail parody episode. Come in here to get a potato chip. Oh man, we've got a crossover happening. <laughs> Mike, what city are you in? Kelowna, British Columbia. Kelowna, okay. Wow. Ugh. We're going on we a just... cruise in September uh, to Alaska and we're stopping in Victoria. Wow. I found out that any cruise ship that is not U.S. flagged has to stop in another country mm. before it goes back to yep. the United States. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Otherwise, That's because they want to have gambling. They can't open the casino if they don't. Yep. That's right. Wow. Victoria is beautiful. You're going to love it. Vancouver Island is gorgeous. Beautiful place. Yep. Keep enjoying your potato chips, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we are going to get gambling here in New York City. Really? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Too much money on the table not to. Well, you know something? I'm not all for it. I, I don't think it's a good idea. You know, let New Jersey do it if they want to do it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just... Connecticut has, huh? has Indian yeah. gambling. This isn't yeah. Indian gambling. This is going to be guys downtown, you know? <laughs> I mean, it, I just... I don't know. I don't know. This mayor, I don't know what he's thinking. That and the other thing he did, you know, I tried it yesterday, by the way, Marjorie. Try and hail a cab in New York City. There are none. No, there are cabs. They just won't stop for you. And the reason no. is all that. yellow cabs are now also Ubers. Right. They're okay, so Ubers. now you're 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 a yellow, you're a okay. yellow cab driver. You got a choice between taking an Uber call or or take, picking somebody up off the street and putting it on the meter. What are you going to do? What are Interesting. You the biggest money. Yeah, so taxis are not available any longer in New York City. I had That's I had two of them pass me by. They I, I almost was throwing myself in front of them yesterday, and they wouldn't stop. You wow. know, so boy, look at the size of that potato chip. Yep. Well, you Maybe guys have you some buy a motor scooter or something like that. Yeah, you, hmm? you have, you have really good scooter. public transportation too. We you have good public here. transportation, but you know, right now I don't like to take it just because it's still, you know, there's still COVID out there. How how much does it cost to go on the New York City subway these days? A couple, three bucks, whatever. I don't. What know. is it? What is it? I know what we pay. We pay like a buck and a half, right? Because we're yeah. all part. Yeah, I, I think, think it's. it's so I think the regular price is two seventy five. All right, so Alex, you'll you'll appreciate this. For me, out here in the East Bay, to go like to the airport on Bart, mm -hmm. it's like fourteen dollars. <laughs> Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, how much that would cost you in gas now? Well, yeah. maybe, but uh, you know, to me, that's just really expensive. Uh, uh, two things I'm happy I don't have right now is a kid and a car. Yeah, no shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and especially a car for kids, you know. <laughs> but I mean, I just uh, it it's it's pretty it's pretty it, 
prices are ridiculous. Stock market is tanking. I yeah. mean, and, oh. and, and at the rate we're going, Shecky's going to have to sleep on my couch. You yeah. know. He's going back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Has to go back to work. Yeah. Yes, uh, Jeff. Pam, my wife, mm -hmm. three months ago, like approximately, she took all of her stock market and turned it into cash. Wow. Good timing. Yeah. Wow. Was, it, was it starting to tank? Oh, of course. Yeah, it was. Yep. Yeah, it was going to crap. I'm it guessing there's going to be some taxes. And this is where everybody said, oh, just hold on to oh, it. Well, they, they say don't sell when it's a down market, yeah, right? Yeah. But the fact is, if you do it in this case, she was right. Yeah. You know? Is she going to redeploy and put anything back in now? Well, once the market becomes a trend rather than. So where did now. you put the money? Where do you put money these days? Oh, uh, it's in the bedroom, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and what's the, your address again? <laughs> it's in the mat. It's in the mattress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So hey, listen, listen, something. Bitcoin is down to twenty-four hundred dollars. Twenty-four hundred? Wow. For twenty-four thousand? Is it twenty-four thousand? Twenty-four thousand. What's yeah. that? What's down to what? What did you say, Shecky? I said, was am I saying twenty four hundred or is it twenty four thousand? Twenty four thousand. Bitcoin, he said. Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. Oh, well, that that's the one. If somebody <clears throat> bought Bitcoin, I don't feel sorry for them. Okay. That's like putting money in. Yeah, I mean, I Air. never, I never understood Bitcoin. In, uh, is there an ATM for Bitcoin? Do you get money out to get cash? <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Well. Whatever. Hey, listen, we've run out of time. We really have, and we're running over here. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'd rather run and not r running over with you guys is better than anything I can name. Uh, uh, um, Steve Bender still isn't with us because he is still getting over a bit of a situation that he had. Mm -hmm. uh, but he is promises he okay? he'll be back soon. Yeah, he's okay. okay. He's Shout okay. out to Steve Bender. Hi, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, um, you know, anyway, hey, listen, Charlene S., thank you for calling. Yes. And, thank you. And Mike Chisholm, of course, thank you for calling. Charlie Wallace. Charlie Fortos. Uh, <laughs> Len LaFrisco, but don't call it LaFrisco. No. Uh, <laughs> it's a San Francisco joke. Vernon oh, Nunn, thank you. Oh. Jeff Stein, Paul Eleven, always a love. I, it's wonderful. I can see you now every week, darling. You know, that's great. Mm -hmm. Marjorie Miller, uh, where are you calling from? <laughs> no? The next room over. Yeah, yeah. And Charlene, thank you so much for being with us. And of course, the fabulous Rick Sheckman, who is with us every week. Mm -hmm. Every one of you. Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? And uh, thanks for joining us. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Edward Berger signs us off officially by saying, That's all, folks. Bye-bye, <laughs> <Okay>, everybody. <laughs> thanks.